I've got two reports I want to hit today that tie together. One is from PC World, and the other is from Popular Science, two different uh, major magazines. Wi-Fi makes trees sick, study says. Radiation from Wi-Fi networks is harmful to trees, causing significant variations in growth, as well as bleeding and fissures in the bark, according to a recent study in the Netherlands. Radiation from Wi-Fi networks is harmful to trees, causing significant variations in growth. It's shown the same thing in humans. It, it, it breaks up the DNA strands. It causes brain tumors. As well as bleeding and fissures in the bark, according to a recent study in the Netherlands. And it says all deciduous trees in the Western world are affected, according to the study, by Wageningen University, the city of Alphen on Den Rijen, uh, ordered the study five years ago after officials found unexplained abnormalities on trees that couldn't be ascribed to virus or bacteria infection. I can eyeball, and not just in one case or two cases, but in thousands. I, I mean, I'm, I'm observant, folks. I don't just... And I think that's what's important. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. You know, there are people a lot smarter than I am, but I'm observant. I'm street smart. You know, I come from good old farming stock. And everywhere I go, I look at trees that are next to power towers, uh, next to cell phone towers. And you can see, not just where they're touching, but where they're even 10 feet away, they're growing slowly. They're deformed. They've got uh, lacerations. I've seen it with the grass. And I've seen other studies that show this as well. Uh, besides the electromagnetic fields created by mobile phone networks and wireless LANs, ultra-fine particles emitted by cars and trucks may also be to blame, and it goes on. Now, here's popular science. To thwart distracted driving, U.S. government considers cell phone jamming in cars. Now, the jammer is also a receiver transmitter. This is government surveillance. That's what Toyota wants under federal auspices, is a camera that watches you in your car to see if you're, quote, distracted driving or tired or drinking. So you're guilty until proven innocent, and they're now proposing this. They're also saying, well, in case a child's in the car unattended, the AI software, very inexpensive, the chip with an infrared camera, so even if it's dark, will know if... Uh, a child's in the car, or if you're drinking, it will, quote, tell if you look tired. It's all quackery. And then we'll access a cell phone on Star System in the car and call police. So this is 1984. And it's got Ray LaHood, who said he's anti-car openly in the news, in the Wall Street Journal earlier this year. He said we want to get cars off the road. The Obama administration is considering disabling cell phones in American cars, aimed at cutting down on distracted drivers and cell phone-related road deaths. But meanwhile, they're not worried about the cell phones themselves giving you cancer. The Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood, the nation's preeminent anti-distracted driving crusader, said in an interview on MSNBC yesterday, the federal officials are looking at technology to disable cell phones inside cars. You notice already at G20 meetings and other protests, they'll disable cell phones. This is just all part of this total surveillance grid. I thought that was important. We just covered it.